Thank you. Can we have the next question from the sister? Uh, very good evening, Dr. Zakir. My name is Cha. I am a psychology student. I attended your previous lecture in UITM Shah Alam. I must say I enjoyed your lecture a lot. Even today I enjoyed your lecture. My question, however, is regarding the previous lecture. You spoke about universal brotherhood in UITM Shah Alam. At one point uh, during the Q&A session, you mentioned that you were more Christian than the Christians. Now, I am not, uh, from what I know, a person is a Christian provided they are either baptized into Christianity or they accept Jesus Christ as their personal saviour. Only then a person is a Christian. So I just wanted to know how exactly you could refer to yourself as more Christian than the Christians. That's all. Sister has asked a very good question. She asked a very good question. She heard my talk in Shah Alam and even here. She asked a question. I said that I'm more Christian than the Christians. How can I be a Christian if I'm not baptized, if I don't believe Jesus is God? Sister, you quoted me correct, but you didn't give my complete quotation. Before I said I'm more Christian than the Christian, I said one statement. If Christian means a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, then we Muslims are more Christian than the Christian themselves. There was a criteria before saying that. If Christian means a person who believes in teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, then I'm more Christian than the Christian themselves. And then I said that the Bible says that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was circumcised on the eighth day. Most of the Christians aren't circumcised, all the Muslims are circumcised. Bible says in the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verse number 18, don't have alcohol. In the book of Proverbs, chapter number 20, verse number 1, don't have alcohol. As a whole, the Muslims don't have alcohol, but the Christians have. Bible says in the book of Leviticus, chapter number 11, verse number 7 and 8, don't have pork. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 14, verse number 8, don't have pork. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 65, verse number 2 to 5, don't have pork. The Muslims don't have pork, but the Christians have. Bible says do hijab, then you cover your head. Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 22, verse number 5. In 1st Timothy, chapter number 2, verse number 9. In the 1st Corinthians, chapter number 11, verse number 5 and 6, do hijab. The Muslim as a whole do hijab, but the Christian don't cover the head. So if, if Christian means a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, we Muslims are more Christian than the Christian themselves. But that's my point. Christianity doesn't mean a person who follows the teachings of Christ so because what does it mean? So what Jesus does it mean? of Nazareth was a Jew. He was born a Jew, he lived a Jewish life and he died a Jew. So if you were to follow the teachings of Jesus of Nazareth, it wouldn't make you a Christian, it would make you a Jew because he taught you Jewish teachings. However, accepting Jesus of Nazareth as your personal saviour and only through him you can go to heaven, that, however, Dr. Okay, Zakir, sister, will make you a Christian. Point out one verse of the Bible which says that accepting Jesus Christ as your saviour will make you go to heaven. Give me one equivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God or where he says worship me. I will accept your type of Christianity today. What you are talking is the teaching of the church, not of the Bible. Yes, I'm exactly, talking because from the church you get... Um, wait, wait, wait. Sister, yes. you want to understand the religion, read the scripture, don't look at the followers. Okay. Don't look at the followers. I told you if you want to understand Islam, don't look at the Muslim. Read the scripture, the Quran and the authentic saying of Prophet Muhammad. If I want to understand Christianity, I not look at the church. Who is the church? Church is not the custodian the of the Bible. The church is who created Christians. If not for the church, that's there what, won't be That's what I'm telling you. Christians. Don't follow so, the church. Follow Jesus Christ. Peace be upon him. If there wasn't a church, you won't know Jesus Christ. So in order to know Christ, that's, you must give recognition to the church. Sister, to know Christianity, you have to read the Bible, not the church. Do you know how many types of church are there? Sister, which church do you belong to? Today, there are more than 2,000 different denominations of church. 2,000 different Christians you will have. Do you know that? Baptist, Seventh-day Adventist, Jehovah's Witness, which church do you belong to? 
2,000 different types of church. Do you know that? Yes, I know. I'm so do you mean to think that 2,000 different types of Christians here? That's the reason, sister. If you want to understand Christianity, read the Bible. If you want to know the teachings of Jesus Christ, don't go to the church. Go to the Bible. There is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God or where he says worship me. So when Jesus Christ did not say, if you believe Jesus Christ to be the highest authority, which I consider him to be a messenger, messenger is far superior than the church. There is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself, says that I am God or where he says worship me. Because of this attitude of yours, there are 2,000 different churches and there are 2,000 different types of Christianity. Which Christianity will you follow? If you want to follow Islam, read the Quran and the authentic Hadith of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If you want to follow Hinduism, read the Vedas and the Upanishads. If you want to be a Christian, read the Bible. If you read all these scriptures, you will come closer to one true God. That God which has got no image. That God with only one God, doesn't have any children, doesn't have any parents. And Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, I have many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. For he, when the Spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that here shall he say, he shall glorify me. Here Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is talking about the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad to come. Peace be upon him. So he's telling all of you that follow the last and final messenger, but you don't want to follow. Because if everyone follows the last and final messenger, who will follow the church? Jesus Christ never said follow the church. Which verse of the Bible says that? Which verse of the Bible? So what you have to realize, read the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Anyone who tries and takes you away from Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he's not good. That's the reason I said that if Christian means a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, I'm more Christian than the Christian themselves. Jesus Christ was circumcised, I'm circumcised. What has the church got to do in between that now? Jesus Christ has said you follow all the commandments in the Old Testament. Old Testament says don't have pork, yet the church says have pork. Who will you follow? Who is superior, Jesus Christ or the church? That's the reason to understand any religion, read the scripture, you'll come closer to that religion. Thank you.